today. Our weather certainly far different from that, but we've been dealing with some unusual circumstances here in Boston with um, how it's looking. Yes, yes. The sea breeze set up. The marine layer definitely in place. It's been in place really all day. And if you drive just 20 miles to the west, it was actually a summer-like day with some sunshine, mild temperatures. But boy, we were socked in the, the fog all day today and I don't see really any improvement in fact the National Weather Service has issued a dense fog advisory for areas to the South Shore and the Cape and the Islands because of what we're expecting to set up and is already in place so looking at our weather graphics uh, it is getting warmer as we head into the rest of the month in fact our average high by June 30th 80 degrees we're gonna start off the month of June on the cooler side so by the time we get into Monday and Tuesday we're only in the upper 60s and we're gonna be dealing with uh, some showers off and on as well. The good thing is by June 21st, that is the most daylight we will see all year. And so uh, that's something to look forward to as well. Our weather setup has this front out in the Midwest stretching into the Great Plains. This is what we'll be watching for tomorrow. I think by tomorrow mid-afternoon into the evening, as this swings through, we could be talking about some stronger thunderstorms, especially north and west of town, central and western Mass into southern Vermont and New Hampshire. That looks to be the best ingredients for some of those thunderstorms to develop. And right now there are strong lines of thunderstorms moving through the Harrisburg area into Philadelphia, New York, but the showers that are moving through the Berkshires right now kind of fizzling as they're approaching. So I'm not expecting any sort of precipitation into this evening. There's that front. St. Louis into, uh, we'll call it Joplin, Missouri, seeing some of those showers. There are severe thunderstorm watches in effect for those areas, but all the severe weather in the Ohio River Valley and the Great Lakes has since dissipated a little bit or weakened a little bit as we go into this 11 o'clock hour. So look at this. Have some sunshine. That's going to act to destabilize the atmosphere a little bit. That line of showers and storms entering into a favorable location for some of these to start to grow stronger and possibly severe uh, through the Berkshires into Western Mass and then into Central Mass, 3 o'clock. There's 630. Notice how they're still really strong. And as they approach Boston, they tend to fizzle out because that marine layer keeping us a little bit safer compared to out west. We do have that front finally swinging through as we go into very early Monday morning. A couple of light, uh, lingering showers possible before we start to see the sunshine for Monday. The biggest risks are going to be localized flooding wherever those thunderstorms are and also some damaging wind gusts. But it wouldn't surprise me, especially in maybe southern Vermont into the upper Hudson River Valley or even into Western Mass for the possibility of a spin-up tornado, something we'll be watching very closely here in the WBZ Weather Center. So the Storm Prediction Center does have Western Mass under that slight risk, a little bit less as you get closer to Boston. Again, the reason for that, because of the marine layer keeping you uh, a little bit safer. We were dry today. Can we do it again tomorrow? If we can, that would be the first dry weekend since St. Patrick's Day. Uh, we do have temperatures currently in the middle 50s uh, in Boston. Here is the seven-day forecast. Uh, I mentioned that dense fog advisory. Let's see if we can get to that seven-day forecast. Uh, we do have temperatures back into the upper 60s for Monday and Tuesday and by Wednesday, middle 70s. Ken and Katie, back to you. All right.